I recorded this quick overview, so let me um, push myself where I belong, to um, give you an understanding of what we learned now from 500 uh, plus MBB offers, more than 1,000 tier 2 offers, and most recently also from triple offers um, of our clients and uh, triple offer is if you are receiving offers from all three MBBs, uh, so McKinsey, BCG and Bain, and in the situation of the client even more, um, T2s. So here, what really is clear from the evidence and from these large set of data points are three things that are standing out in order for you to outperform your strong competition. And just as a um, quick calibration, right? So this is happening in times where people are telling you um, there is a hiring freeze and um, it's impossible to get an offer right now and yada, yada, yada. Um, it's wrong. It's wrong. It is wrong because MBBs will always hire, right? So yes, um, it's considerably harder uh, out there right now. The competition is getting stronger and stronger and stronger because the number of people considering to join is still high, uh, but the number of slots available that will be filled is uh, right now lower than usual, right? So than in the last decade. So yes, the competition is stronger. That uh, only means one thing, and that is not giving up or uh, telling yourself, yeah, mm, uh, the, so there's nothing I can do. It's like starting to level up, right, and outperform your competition. That is the right and the only uh, mindset you should have in order, uh, so if you're serious about breaking into MBB, so McKinsey, BCG, and Bain. Now, let me break it down one step further. What is necessary here to do so, to do so, right? So first, you need to create the opportunities. So yes, you will need to have a decent profile, and if you not yet have a decent profile, you will need to go the route using niche consultancies and tier twos to build it, right? Um, and that means you need to have a strong track record um, uh, academically, but also in your profession if you have now already worked for more than one or two years, right? And what we saw here is uh, you need to have someone senior helping to shape your positioning in the best possible way, right? So get that support and make sure that um, every single value you could show is squeezed out by your documents. This is very important. So the more borderline your profile is, the more important is um, the shaping, right? To make sure the right facets of your professional past are emphasized upon, right? Also, in addition, it takes strong determination, right? So you should be here for a long-term plan. We couldn't care less if our clients achieve their MBB offers in a day, a week, a month, or sometimes even a year, right? We couldn't care less. And why? Because we want to build C-level careers. The ambition here is way more than getting through your MBB interviews, right? We want to convey and, and transfer a skill set that is not only helping you to end up at MBB, but also perform outstandingly, and not only in MBB, but also later on in senior executives and C-level careers, right? This is the ambition level of what we have built here. And um, what this would mean for all clients that work with us, but also for each and every single person that is uh, going into the process without professional help is strong determination. You need to want this. If you are like, oh, let's see, maybe I'm doing this or maybe um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting lucky in my interviews, well, then forget about this, right? Chances that you're going to make it are extremely, extremely low, right? So th for this situation and starting point, the competition right now is way too intense. So then second one, time. You need to take this serious and this will require time. Time to build up your referral pipeline to maximize your chances that you will end up with an invite, right? It's not enough to shape your documents. You also should have someone who is referring you. And by the way, no, we are not giving out names. No, we are not selling referrals. No, um, this is like where you need to have guidance on how to approach people and not by approaching them. Hi, I'm so interested in BCG. Um, would love to have a coffee chat with you. I mean, look, these people are getting hundreds hundreds of messages on LinkedIn um, in, in, in the respective seasons, right? So that's not the way how you should approach them. You need to bring value to these discussions, right? You need to have a unique positioning and also entering point so that you even get a response, not even speaking about a coffee chat at this moment in time, right? So that needs time. So 
for the the client I was referring to with the triple offer recently, um, for this client, it took six months, right, of practicing, ramping up, doing it systematically, making sure she can handle her high caliber job next to it. But it's worth it, right? Because if you have an ultimate goal of joining an MBU, that's a life-changing decision. So... Yes, it can be done in significantly less time, absolutely, especially if you do it with a focus and not next to a second shop, right? All possible. We have seen everything from two weeks to <laughs> one and a half years, right? Um, but important, important, important. Take enough time if you want to take this serious. Because also, um, if you learn a new skill, you need that headspace. You need that time in between sessions. You need that time in between practicing. You need that time after internalizing and absorbing the theoretical backbone. Your brain needs time to rewire, right? You don't learn a skill by um, pushing through the same material a hundred times. This is how you learn for a university exam. And unfortunately, still today often, right? But this is not being able to apply a skill. This is learning things by heart. And learning things by heart is not tested in MBB interviewing, right? This approach will work fine for the pretests, because here it's like a university exam, right? You know the format, you know what is expected most, uh, mostly you uh, then can practice the hell out of this, right? But this is not the same for the case interviews. Here you will need to learn a skill, and in order to, lear to learn a skill, you will need either already have a profound um, starting situation that you can build up on, or you have time, right? These are the two things that we are seeing. And um, yeah, as I said, so it's doable in significantly less time. But also, if you have the opportunity, why would you not take a couple of months time? And this is, by the way, also the reason why we're not punishing people that are staying in our program longer, right? They don't need to pay in addition. Why? Because we have seen it's useful for the majority of people to rather take a bit longer here in their preparation timeline, right, to maximize their outcome. Now, third, you need to do it systematically, right? Again, just practicing 100 cases, 120 cases, just doing more of what has not worked in the past is not pulling the trigger. You cannot work your, uh, I shouldn't say that in that video, you cannot try uh, to expect to work um, intensely, intensively and more intensively and more intensively and then making it happen. It's not going to happen, right? Because this is not a question of the amount of time you are using to practice. It's also the quality of material and the feedback you are receiving on the way that will get you to be an excellent performer, right? It is not the amount of cases you are doing. It's also how you're doing this case, the cases, with whom you're doing the cases, and how do you learn from your mistakes in a systematic way? And do you have the option to ask if there are systematic issues occurring on the way, right? Because this is what an end-to-end -end preparation system is offering you. You always have the chance to ask back. And again, right, the, the person with a triple offer, she used that, right? She came back with very specific questions, always, with the perspective, right? So she never came with an open question. We don't even answer open question um, questions in our program because the expectation also later at MBB is that you always bring a perspective, right? Show me what you have done to solve that by yourself. And then you get feedback and calibration and discussions, right? This is where it starts to, to this is where the, the, where the fun starts, right? And it's also a mindset you need to have. Because if you have embraced that mindset, you're also not going to black out anymore if there is an unknown question to you, because you have built that confidence to bring the best perspective you have and then start to discuss it openly, right? That is what is expected. That is what you need to learn on your way, right? So, and what does it, what does a systematic um, approach here looks like? You need to have a strong didactical and theoretical backbone, right? So in our program, we have invested thousands of hours, right, to shape that content in a way that it is absolutely outstanding and unique to anything else you will find elsewhere. Why? Because we didn't take, like, another program and copy-pasted it, as you will find, like, hundreds of other approaches out there, right? You don't e I don't even need to look it up who was the originator of, of, of the, some of the contents because it's all copy-pasted anyways. Um, 
But here we really built that from scratch. We built that from scratch. And why? Um, because we had in mind what is evaluated, what a good consultant is doing on the projects. And then we reverse engineered this, what was tested in these interviews with a focus. And then we reverse engineered this. So what is here an approach to showcase these characteristics? That's how the MBB offer machine came into existence, right? That was a lot of work, a lot of work. And not a lot of work of two juniors, but a lot of work of Steve and myself who are bringing um, together one and a half decades of MBB experience, right? And I also, also by, my, by, by myself have worked um, as a, or have been um, uh, doing uh, development, a full year development as a professional coach and also a full year development as a professional trainer. I'm certified and know exactly what's the theoretical backbone, have built the professional development programs at McKinsey um, in for several different seniority classes, right? So I know how to build one. And it's so important to make sure you have a systematic approach that is gu guiding you right, on each and every single step so you know where you are in the process and you also have a good understanding of the progress you are in, right? Then, practical application. It's not, a, you know, the, a book and an online course or whatever, it's a unidirectional learning resource, right? A unidirectional learning resource is not giving you feedback. A unidirectional learning resource can never be individual tailored to your situation. It's impossible, right? So you need to have a bi-directional approach and practical applications will help you with this, right? And also peer practicing will help you with this if the peers are selected in a systematic way. So with what we are doing, we're hand selecting peers, right? So it's very important to make sure that you know who you are practicing with and that these people are using the same theoretical backbone. So if it's not our theoretical backbone, right, at least make sure you know what you're talking about when you're practicing with your peers. Don't go randomly with like peers on, I don't know, prep launch and, and what, what, what have you, because chances that you will speak the, in the same case about two different things are huge, right? Because if you have a different theoretical backbone and if you have like a different um, previous experiences with casing, and that is usually the case for 85% of people, maybe significantly more, you meet randomly online, right? chances that this is a systematic approach that you can really learn from this and that you also know how to value that feedback from the other person and this is helpful are uh, extremely low right and then last point here what we saw over and over again i mentioned this before see no guidance on the challenges on the way because yes for sure you need to put in the legwork right it's not even a question um because you need you're the person that needs to perform no one else can do that for you right so it's your responsibility to Show progress. It's your responsibility to push, right? It's your responsibility to make it happen. And now we come back to the first point of strong determination. But you need to have the chance, the opportunity to ask open questions on the way, right? If you don't know if left or right is now the correct next direction, you need to have a chance to get a calibrated answer to help you, right? And this is what we are also seeing over and over again. Um, usually this is heavily used at the beginning of the program for from our mentees and less so at the end because almost often then um, once you have received a couple of feedback points from a mentor it's already clear what you need to do in order to get to an outstanding performer right and then it's really about how to systematically practice with your peers um, uh, going through the recordings of these connections knowing what to watch out for and being focused on what you are trying to improve and increase because it's impossible to do everything at the same time, right? Because what this will lead to is you will feel overwhelmed. You will not see systematic progress. Um, you see yourself doing the same mistakes over and over and over again, and you don't see a logic um, according to which you solve certain cases. Often the answer is coming just out of thin air because you haven't understood how to approach them. So that was what I wanted to share here, right? So um, to be honest, Yes, it is close to impossible to do it on that level, on that level, without professional guidance. And with professional, I mean like people need to have a clear didactical backbone as I have laid it out. They need to um, be able to prove the results at scale, right? If there are no video testimonials, like let's say at least, I don't know, 25 or so, um, you know what, uh, uh, yeah, well, the, 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 you will do your own research. Um, uh, uh, there are people out there that have done an internship at MBB and now showing others how to break in. That's ridiculous, right? So let's, let's be honest here with this. Um, but that's a different story. 
And so you can e you can get closer also by um, adhering to what I've shared with you, Herc, by keeping it in the back of your mind, by trying to understand what is it that I'm referring to. You can also already improve significantly. Maybe it's even enough to end up with an offer, right? Um, but yeah, in the end, um, it's a it's often a unidirectional approach many people are taking, right? And if it's a bidirectional approach, it means they are getting feedback, they are getting feedback by sources they that cannot prove their success rates, right? I mean, everyone can post like, yeah, I have helped 100 people, so where are these, right? So where are the video testimonials of these? Not everyone will give you one, right? Even a lot of people are shy that are receiving an MBB offer, right? But you know, p someone has done this at scale, if you have 20 of them, right, or 25, or 30, or something like this, right? This is a good proxy of success. This is what, in the end, will prove that what these institutions are doing is working or not. Right, and also, you need to have scale here, right? This is also what we're seeing. The, the bigger the MBB offer machine grew, the more impactful um, we were, right? Um, because um, with scale comes flexibility, with flexibility um, comes also a more nuanced approach, and also we can test things at scale. And this is uh, why we are uniquely positioned here. However, there are also other people that are bringing a senior lens, right? Um, also fine, um, but please make sure to not fall for um, good marketers, right? Because you need to have substance in what you are choosing for your next career move. That's it for the moment. Wishing you sincerely all the best for your interviews. I know many that will see um, this video will never have the chance to collaborate with us. And that's also fine, right? I'm more than happy. We're also producing a lot of um, free content. And we are also uh, producing um, a lot of like uh, yeah, directional content. And this is already um, good for the starting points here, right? But if you are serious about this, make sure you act accordingly. All the best to you and kind regards. Bye-bye, Jan. -bye,